I roll out like a couple little bundles. And then I have to pull my pants down. Hello lovers and welcome back to Travel Snacks. So when you are living in your car, traveling and doing road trips, there's gonna be times where you have to pee in the middle of the night. Now at home, you can just get up, go pee and go back to bed. But when you're in your car and it's say 2.30 in the morning and you really have to pee and you can't hold it any longer, you have two choices. You can try to find a place that's 24 hours, which means you have to jump in your front seat, take your shades down, put your shoes on, drive somewhere, and hopefully it's a place that doesn't require you to buy something. And then you can go pee and then you have to go back, find a spot and go back to sleep. Or you can figure out a way to pee in your car. I have two ways that you can pee in the car, which only one of them I've tried. The first one is to use a Go Girl or a Shiwi. It's like a female funnel. So you put it over your private parts and you stand up like a man and you pee. The problem with that is that you have to get out of the car, try to be inconspicuous and pull down your pants. And usually if you're parked in a residential neighborhood, that's it's not gonna be that easy. I mean, unless you're just in a rural area, and in the middle of nowhere, which probably is not gonna be the case. That's not something that I would be comfortable with. The second one is the way that I have had to do a couple times. I ordered a pee container. I will demonstrate how I use it. Okay, so here are the supplies that I have. I have a Ziploc and the first thing I have, it's a little trash bag that goes into the trashes in say a bathroom. So a little trash bag. of toilet paper. I have a doggy pee pad that I got at the dollar store and then I have my pee container. I got this on Amazon. I think it was less than ten dollars and it just opens like this. I clean this out every I clean this out every time I use it and I wash it and then I put paper towels in it just to keep it clean. I also sanitize it with antibacterial wipes and I wipe it and then I wipe the inside. This collapses and expands to as much as you think you need. The first time I ever used this, I used it with this amount. And I actually had so much urine that it reached almost the top. So I was like, dang, I really had to go. So the next time I just like popped it up a couple so it wouldn't spill out. Luckily the first time it didn't because I would have been nasty and I would have been freaked out. For the purpose of this video, because it's already hard to maneuver back here with this camera and trying to just you'll see it's just like a whole thing what i do is oh how am i gonna even do this okay so i roll out my toilet paper put it to the side and i roll out like a couple little bundles and then i have to pull my pants down listen you're watching a video about peeing and pooping in your car i mean that's pretty personal you should hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and put a like on this video because it was exhausting trying to make. And then what I do is I have to pull my pants down. Now I'm wearing underwear and I'm wearing biker shorts. So don't be alarmed. So I just pull my pants down like this. I would put this pee pad under here, which imagine like my underwear would be down too. And then you take this with this part out and you kind of have to rise up and position it to where you feel, you know, it's gonna have the most coverage. And then you kind of just like lean forward. <sighs> it's exhausting. <laughs> you kind of lean forward and then just let her rip. It's not super comfortable because, you know, as women, we're not used to just having to pee like bending over like this. Okay, so then you finish and then when you pull the thing up, you just kind of slide it so that it, you know, captures all the, trinklets and then you take your toilet paper wad and you wipe it off and then you close the lid and then you put this in the bag and set it to the side while you clean up now I have this trash bag here I set this with the container in here so it's sitting upright so it doesn't tip over even though it's leak proof and then I you know I wipe up then I get the pad out hold it there's nothing on it you should use it again and then Pull your pants up. Here comes the gross part. 
So then what you have to do is you take your urine filled container and you are going to have to, I mean, I guess you could wrap it up real tight into the trash bag and just kind of seal it up and leave it here until you wake up in the morning. But I don't like to do that because I think it's gross. So what I do is I unlock my car door, I open my back door, and I'm usually in a spot that's kind of like on a curb or like in a gutter area. I pour it out of the car on the side, not on the sidewalk, but on the street. And then I take, I take my water bottle and I kind of like, you know, rinse off the street and then I pour a bunch of water and I swish it around and then I pour it out and then I get my antibacterial wipes and I wipe off the rim and then I have a bunch of paper towels and I like stick it in there. It's fairly clean, but you know, not super clean. So then I put it in the trash bag and I wrap it up. I put all my supplies back in this bag and then when I wake up in the morning and I go to say Walmart or Starbucks or something, I'll take this in and then I will do the rest of the cleaning with soap and antibacterial stuff so it's clean for the next use. Some of you guys might be like, that's disgusting that you pour your urine out on the street. I want to mention something. Dogs. I think it's so funny how people think that human urine is disgusting, but hundreds of thousands of people take their dogs for a walk and dogs are urinating all over sidewalks, benches, bushes, grass, gutters, streets, and nobody has a problem with that. And dogs, especially like bigger dogs, they pee a lot. So the sidewalks and streets are already urine soaked. So there's really no difference in my opinion. Is it gross? Yeah, I think all of it's gross. But nobody should be leaving me comments about pouring urine on the street because dogs. And also I, I rinse it down, I wash it down with water. So it's a little bit diluted and I don't feel as bad. Now I only pee in my car when I feel like it's necessary. There's a lot of times where I have basically kind of trained my brain to just kind of lay through the urge to pee and just be like, you know what, I'm not gonna get up, I'm just gonna hold it. And then I'm usually up at like five or six in the morning to go to Walmart or Starbucks or McDonald's to get my urine needs taken care of. But if it's an emergency in the middle of the night, you gotta do what you gotta do. Another option is if you don't have a pee bottle, you don't wanna order one, whatever the case may be, is I got this for my first test night when I was sleeping in my car. And if you haven't watched that video, go watch it now. And what I did is I just got a little Tupperware. You got these like, I think two or three for a dollar at the 99 cent store. And I put cornstarch and baking soda, baking soda or baking powder, whatever the one in the yellow box. I put that in here so that if I, oh shoot, I just got that off my pillow. Don't worry, I haven't used this for urine needs. I had this just in case I had to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night on that first test night. But I kept it because you never know, like if I wasn't able to clean my pee container and I still had to use this, then I would have this. And this is a good alternative. And the reason I put cornstarch and baking powder is because it absorbs odor. So you can also probably put this in here too, but I didn't want it to get all clumpy and weird. So that's another option. In terms of poop, I don't know that I would ever feel comfortable pooping in my car. So I just do that in public restrooms. So gas stations, libraries, McDonald's, Starbucks, grocery stores, department stores, malls. You know, you just like figure it out during your day. If there was an emergency and you had the diarrheas, I guess you could use that, you know, the red container and just kind of like, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's just like camping. You know, if you have to go to the bathroom and it's, an emergency, I guess you could either go outside, which that's embarrassing in itself. I mean, if you could, man, could you imagine? Like if you're just like laying there at night and your stomach starts bubbling and you know that you gotta go right then, I guess you can open your door and just go outside. But I mean, if anybody drove up or walked or whatever, you'd just be outside pooping. I mean, that's like, no, I wouldn't do that. So I think I would rather, if it was an emergency, use this little container. I mean, it's an emergency. I'm not talking about regular pooping needs. I'm talking about straight emergency. And then you have, not these, these are the antibiotic wipes, but I have other like toilet wipes that I have that you could use to like clean yourself up. And then obviously if it's an emergency, you would immediately go to like somewhere public and go do the rest of your business there. That's my tips for going to the bathroom when you're on a road trip or living in your car. If you were living in your car and you had to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, what would you do? What are your tips? Leave them in the comments.